what's up everybody? Get ready because I'm about to show you some great entertaining tips and bring you inside one of the best parties we've ever had. You may have seen this party on my Instagram. It was on everybody's Instagram. A Latin themed extravaganza in honor of the iconic, the legendary Selena. Latinos love coming together to celebrate anything. I think that's where I got it from. People are always like, why are you always throwing a party? I'm like, because I live the fiesta life, okay? <laughs> and I think that it's awesome when you just get to have your family and your friends gather around, dance, sing to music out loud, eat great food and have awesome drinks. So I was very particular about all the details of the party and yes, we went all out. We splurged, but we also saved in some areas. So I wanna show you every detail of how we did it. So my first tip would be pick a theme. This time our fiesta was inspired by Selena. I just think Selena's spirit was so beautiful. A lot of people always ask me like, well, what was it that you loved about Selena? Not only was her music incredible, not only was she so talented, but if you ever watch interviews of her, she had a special light that just shined inside of her. I wanted a moment to like honor her beautiful signature look, so I went completely over the top. I told my hairstylist, Ray, I'm like, no, you don't understand. I want the old school boucles, which is what we call them back in the day. That's the hairstyle where you build the curls, one on top of the other, and it creates like this huge bun on the top of your head. And I knew I wanted to create the Selena beautiful red lip and black winged eye. I had so much fun creating this, especially the lips, but I don't wanna give it all away because you guys gotta check out my whole Selena inspired makeup tutorial. Once I was done with my hair and makeup, now it was time to get my outfit on. I literally had my assistant Lana's mom, Teresa, shout out to Teresa, who helped me put this dress together. She actually created the gown for me. We were obviously inspired by Selena's look in No Me Queda Mas, the music video. It's actually the same dress that she wore for her Grammy acceptance as well. The outfit was a lot. So at one point I was like, hold up, I gotta change. So I went into my second Selena inspired look. It was the red bedazzled bra and it's actually like black leggings that were also red bedazzled as well. And I actually found it on Etsy and it was like $219, which was a splurge. One of my favorite moments of the party was having my husband put on a fake ponytail. Look at my Chris to my Selena. I installed this myself. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime moment. I can't even believe he let me do it. But I was like, babe, if I'm Selena inspired, you've gotta be my hubby. You've gotta be like Chris inspired. This was not a Selena move. She didn't do this. This is Adrian. We got the party started by playing Selena music throughout the house so that when people arriving, they were like, yes, feeling the vibe, feeling the vibes. Next up, we had one of my favorite elements of entertaining. If you can, get live music. There's nothing like it. So for this party, we had a mariachi band. Not just any mariachi band, but an award-winning one. It was Mariachi Divas. I love the fact that you see so many mariachi bands, but I've never seen an all-female one. They were absolutely incredible. The songs they chose were like my favorites. At one point, I even got to sing with the lead singer of the band, which was so much fun and they're incredible, and I'm super girl power, so I love seeing it, all women. I was super nervous when she walked up to me and was like, do you wanna sing? And I was like, oh my gosh, and I realized that I kind of was singing in the corner by myself, one of my favorite songs, Tu Solo Tu. At first I was embarrassed, and then I got all into it, and I was like, you know, I just sang with a mariachi band. Let's talk about the food and drinks when you're having a fiesta. It's my favorite part, I'm just a foodie. And when I walk into people's parties, I'm like, where's the food, where's the drinks? So we actually started out with an appetizer so that when people just got here and walked in, even before the party got into full swing, we wanted to make sure that there were chips and guac in every corner of the house. For the main course, we had a taco bar, which I love, because it allows you to create whatever kind of taco you want, chicken, beef, veggie, just cheese, whatever you like, it's for you to create. Everybody loves a taco bar because, duh, who doesn't love tacos? And the other thing is, it's really affordable. You can actually feed a lot of people with a taco bar versus like super expensive fancy catering. If a taco bar is still out of your budget, you can create your own taco bar and actually let your guests build their own tacos. We also ordered empanadas, which are my favorites, and we got different assortment of flavors. I even considered my vegan and vegetarian friends with the empanadas, making sure that they had veggie versions of it. And at the end, yes, we had dessert, the classic, the churros. People were super excited about that. 
They were not just regular churros, by the way. We had the good old churros, and then we had cream-filled churros. I love the way we presented the churros. They like came out on trays, like my guys were walking through the crowd, and people were like, yes, churros! You, you can't have a fiesta without churros. It's just, it's just not right. Now, let's move on to the drinks. Ew. Everybody knows that I always have themed cocktails, signature cocktails, and this time, the cocktails were inspired by Selena's songs. So we had a Como La Flor, we had a Dreaming of You, we even had Bidi Bidi Bomb Bomb shots. The whole thing behind the Bidi Bidi Bomb Bomb shots, first of all, they came in two options. You could get the liquid version or the Jello version. <laughs> Jello shots, and I love that they were red, and my whole thing was, hello, when you take the shot, it makes your heart go, Bidi Bidi Bomb Bomb. We also had a tequila bar, which was super cool. I know a lot of people have heard of wine tastings, but guess what? You can also have a tequila tasting. They actually allow you to try out repasados and tequila blanco. We had a bartender out there shaking up margaritas for my girls, and it was just such a good time. We had options of different kinds of margaritas. By the way, you don't have to have a bartender at your party. You could be the bartender, one of your girlfriends could be the bartender, or better yet, just set everything out for them and they can actually create their own cocktails. For those non-drinking guests, we also had horchata for them and agua fresca, which is super cool because there was a lot of kids at the party as well. It was family friendly and I loved that. I love to have a lot of fun activities for my guests to do so they can never say they were bored at one of my parties, okay? The first thing we did was an art installation where people could take photos in front of. Oh my gosh, this is my concept in my mind. But to actually see it is super cool. <gasps> Guys, this is the exact same model of car that Selena had. We actually rented a 1987 Porsche Red Convertible, which was the kind of car that Selena drove, and we covered it with white roses, which was her favorite flower, just like me. Let me tell you, it was a major hit. People stood in front of it and took their photos. Now, not everyone is obviously gonna be able to get a red Porsche, but you can create any kind of cool photo backdrop that you want. It could literally be anything, as long as it goes along with your theme. Another activity was a photo booth. We use Flipbook Frenzy. My friends over there are the best. You can print it out right then and there, the actual photos that they get to go home with. You can also email or text the pictures to yourself right there at the spot. I think another important thing about a party is making sure that you spread out the activity so everybody can do things in different places. So we actually put the photo booth at the top of the hill and that was super cool because when people arrived, they kind of were making their way around, walking to the top of the hill, meeting friends. Some of my friends even got their food and their drinks and sat up at the pergola at the top of the hill watching everyone take their pictures. You can't have a fiesta without a piñata. So we got the cutest piñata, obviously, red lips. And the fun thing was a lot of people brought their kids, so we wanted something that was kid-friendly as well. So they were taking a whack at it, and trust me, they were in for a great surprise. We had awesome candy inside. I'm a huge fan of karaoke, so when I was thinking of activities, I was like, oh my gosh, if I'm having a Selena-themed party, I wanna be able to sing her songs. And I know that a lot of my other friends are incredibly talented as well, and they would wanna get up and sing too. So I was like, ding, 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 karaoke station it is. The karaoke station was a huge hit. All of my friends were singing. Some of them incredibly talented. Some of them not so much. My poor neighbors. Again, you don't have to have an actual karaoke station. Guys, it's 2018. You literally can download karaoke songs right onto your phone and just get a mic. And I can't forget the Selena Red Lipstick Station. So as soon as people walked through the door, I was like, uh, uh, you don't have red lipstick on, you are not following the theme of this party. We brought down the vanity set from Lily's bedroom, and I loved it because it looked very old Hollywood. It looked like the way you would think a singer gets ready for her show, in front of all the glamorous lights. And then I went to the 99 cent store and bought a bunch of red lipsticks. We also had handheld mirrors so people could get it right, and it was kind of a Polaroid station as well. We had a Polaroid camera on the side and a guest book. So what they would do was put their red lips on, take their Polaroid picture, tape the Polaroid picture into the guest book, kiss it for us, and leave a little message that said what a good time they had at the party. This party was so epic, people did not want to leave. <laughs> the party started at three o'clock, and I literally had guests taking over the bar still at two o'clock in the morning. Shout out to Julissa Bermudez. I think what made it so awesome was that we created a fun ambiance where everyone was just having a good time, 
singing, dancing, eating. We had salsa music going at some point, and we were just having a lot of fun. That's what parties are all about, right? So it was a great time. We celebrated our Latino culture and an icon. This fiesta was inspired by Selena, but you could use these tips for any fiesta, any time of year with all of your family and friends. I really wanted you guys to feel like you were actually a guest at the party. So I hope you had as much fun watching it as we had throwing it. Now, make sure that you comment below and tell me what other kind of theme parties you want me to throw. Give me some great ideas or tell me what you've done before and make sure that you subscribe. Mwah! Besitos!